Hong Kong is one of the most densely populated places in the world. More than 7 million people live in this former British colony, which is now a special administrative region of China. Despite being one of the world's leading commercial centers, dig a little deeper and like most big cities, you'll soon discover that Hong Kong also has its fair share of social problems. Living conditions can be harsh for the poor here. Many live in small flats on public housing estates with two or three generations under the same roof. A lot of children also come from broken homes with no role models. Vulnerable youngsters often fall into gangs, many of which are controlled by the notorious triads. Concerned with the rise in juvenile delinquency, Hong Kong's police force searched for ways of dealing with the problem. In the mid-1990s, a group of officers set up Operation Breakthrough, which aims to help youngsters through sport. If you're not getting much help at home or at school, you, you want to belong to something, and then these, these gangs come along, for you it's just a, you know, it's like a, an alternative family, if you like. So a lot of the kids get sucked into that. Once they get sucked into the triads, then they get involved in drugs, um, couriers, and all, all the kinds of things, get into all kinds of trouble. But you can see why they, why they go that way. So what we do in the police force with Operation Breakthrough is we try to provide a family as well, uh, someone that will look after them, but obviously from the good side. So it's something that they can identify with but it's on the good side rather than the bad side. Yep. Senior Superintendent B.J. Smith has been involved with the programme from the start. Smith and the other founding officers had a strong sporting background and they quickly realised that lecturing children about breaking the law would fall on deaf ears. A more hands-on approach was needed to help disadvantaged teenagers and first-time offenders. If you take something like sport and you teach a kid how to box or play rugby or dance or whatever, whatever the sport is, and at the same time you're with a kid and you're a police officer, some of your influence rubs off on the kid. You don't lecture them, but slowly and surely they will grow in confidence, which is part of the problem, they don't have any self-confidence. They learn a sport, they interact with the police officers all the time, and they themselves will, will change themselves as opposed to you just telling them to be a certain way. They'll see the benefits of being a certain way, and over that period of time, without them even realising it, they'll change. Operation Breakthrough has since developed from an ad hoc organisation to a limited company with charitable status. It's supported by police volunteers, sponsors and local communities. There are currently 400 kids in the programme taking part in 14 different activities, which include dancing, rugby and boxing. The numbers at the moment are about right. We've got enough volunteers and enough money and enough facilities and locations to handle this number. If we were to expand further, uh, I'd be worried that the, the quality of what we're giving the kids would, would decline because once you spread yourselves out too much, and you start to lose the one-on-one the -on -one sort of mentorship, which is so important, then the, the quality of the programme starts to degrade. So I'd rather keep the numbers small and make it more meaningful than, than expand for the sake of numbers and, and, and lose the whole point. Check. Most youngsters enter the programme with a deep distrust of the police, but being in a sporting environment with them helps them to see officers as friends rather than as the enemy. Chan Ho Chung was a troubled 14-year-old when he joined the project. I remember my first lesson here. I was coached by a foreign police officer. He trained us really hard, but it was still very satisfying, and I enjoyed it. It felt good, and it was worth the hard work. So I decided to continue with the training program. Thanks to Operation Breakthrough, Chung quickly discovered that he had a talent for boxing, and he even discovered a talent for law enforcement, actually becoming a policeman himself. In 2009, he won gold at the World Police and Fire Games in Canada. Despite his early run-ins with the law, Chung is a volunteer coach for the boxing program and a role model that the young boys can look up to. I do share the story of my past with the young people who come to train here. 
In my youth, I was often told that I could go one way or the other, that I could become a police officer or a troublemaker. I certainly never thought it would be the former. The people here really encouraged me to pursue a career in the police. I knew my chances were slim of joining the force because I didn't have any qualifications and I never did well at school. I actually couldn't believe it when I passed the entrance exam. Now I do everything that I possibly can to encourage these kids who come to train here. I want to help them reach their true potential. Another of the program's success stories is Cheng Tsuki. Six years ago, she was arrested for stealing. This was when Operation Breakthrough came into her life. Her social workers saw the potential for change in her, and instead of getting a criminal record, the police gave her a second chance. She's now a qualified social worker. As soon as I joined the program, I developed a much stronger sense of responsibility. I'm the youngest in my family, and I never really took responsibility for anything. But then I was thrown a lifeline by Operation Breakthrough. I learned so much about myself and about life. I began dancing, and today I now teach dance to the youngsters in the program. I'm also a volunteer at my local community centre. I've learned a lot, and I'm now a much more responsible person. Many girls in the project have often run into trouble because of a boy they've got involved with. Breakthrough's dance program aims to give these young women more self-confidence and self-esteem. Cheng has enjoyed interacting with the youngsters whose lives she's helping to turn around. I wanted to be a social worker because in my time I have met so many helpful and caring social workers and police officers who all volunteer in this program. I find social work meaningful and important and I see the positive impact it has on so many lives. I love being part of this program and it's really rewarding helping more and more young people to improve their lives. Making these youngsters better individuals is what it's all about here. Operation Breakthrough continues to succeed in giving the disadvantaged and troubled teens of Hong Kong a second chance in life. The project has proved that many of the kids just need guidance, not punishment. Through sport, the children are brought into a whole new environment where they can learn about respect, discipline and commitment. The program boasts a countless number of success stories, but those leading breakthrough are realistic enough to know that there's not always going to be a happy ending. I think it's important that you realise that you're not going to always be successful um, and you shouldn't get too frustrated when, when, you, when you have these failures because at the end of the day, you're just trying to do the best you can with the limited tools you've got. I mean, my, my only thing is that I'm a police officer, and therefore the kids will learn to respect police officers and, and see them differently. And, I'm, and I'll take an interest in the kids, and that might be enough for them to turn around. If I can convert 10% of the kids, I'll be happy.